Hi everyone! Happy New Year! We've made it! Although actually this video, uh, two videos that are getting shown in the New Year were actually filmed on New Year's Eve because they're our dinner and our dessert. But <laughs> so I just wasn't going to show them both, you know, at like midnight. All right, so today we are making chocolate souffle. I have never made a souffle before, so this could turn out really well or it may not quite rise to the occasion like it's supposed to, but I'm going to go with the fact that it's going to taste good no matter what, and that's all that's going to matter. So if it rises a little, great. If it rises like it's supposed to, miraculous. And if it doesn't rise at all, you know, it's my first time. I'm going to live with it. But let's get to it. It's time for another episode of Cooking with Caitlin. That's me. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're doing is preparing our ramekins. The recipe I got this from, I think it's going to make a total of four. So that's how many I'm prepping. Um, I hope it's not more than that. I'll figure that out when we get there. All right. We're just coating really well with the butter, melted butter. First. And then... I'll do the rest, but I'll show you guys just the one, and then I'll, I'll let you pause. Then you can coat with some uh, sugar. Since we're going to do chocolate, I'm actually going to coat with a little bit of cocoa powder instead. So I've read in a number of places there, where if you're doing chocolate, that's the way. You see, we just kind of let it roll, get it some good. down there. May need more cocoa powder. <laughs> I think that is what I am finding. All right. So I'll get back to you or on to the next. All right, so we've got a couple things going on simultaneously. We've got four ounces of broken up chocolate going on top of a bowl of, or on a pot with water that is heating. We're going to be melting that simultaneously melting two tablespoons of butter and then we'll be adding things to this so we're keeping a real weather eye on what's going on that's the goal letting that happen then you guys see just melt this We preheated the oven to 375, and uh, per a tip I saw, I put a baking or cookie rack already in on a low shelf in the oven to kind of help steady everything when it goes in. You see the butter has melted. See the chocolate is melting. Okay. Let's add two teaspoons of flour to our butter mixture and get that whisked in. Thank you. 
All right. What we're going to do now, this, while the chocolate still melts, is we're adding half a cup of cold milk. So just pick it out of the fridge. Not too long ago, as we know, with kind of flour stuff, they can kind of curdle. So adding the milk in like so to be able to mix it without it doing that, hopefully. But now we can finish off. Good, get that going. Chocolate is melting. I'm melting. I'm melting. That would be in my mom now. Remember when she did that with, I don't even remember what it was anymore. I need to get an actual pop holder. Chocolate's almost there, so that's good. This is getting there. That's looking really nice. Getting some nice steam going too. Alright. Also, then we're adding in a few little spices. So we add in, let's see what we're doing pure. So you can do other things, but I'm keeping it pure this time around with the chocolate. So you're doing a couple teaspoons of cocoa powder. And just a lot of the dairy, but it will be. Salt, steel, about a teaspoon, just a little more of salt. I'm going to get that going. That nicely mixed. I'm going to have to move you guys for a second. Right. Okay. All right, so we are removing from heat and we turned the one burner off because we're not putting this back on and we've turned the one with the pot to loo and now we're going to whisk them all together. Yay. All right. Get it all out of there. All right, we're going to whisk it together. You guys see? Hot, hot, hot. Actually, I'll be not at the top once I take it off the heat, but I'm steaming at the bottom. All right, and now we're adding two egg yolks, and these eggs, we got them to room temperature before we separated them. Um, and it was also a recommendation that I read. Good tip. Getting those egg yolks mixed in. Get it all. Okay. Get it out of there. Okay. Just trying to make sure. We get all the souffleness we possibly can. All right, and now it's on low. We're going to put it back there and we'll move on to our next step. All right, we've got four egg whites. So that does mean you're left with two extra egg yolks. Toss them in and make extra yolk to scrambled eggs or. If you've got a yolk specific recipe, go for it. We're basically just making a meringue, which we've done before. So we're whipping them up. And then we're going to get our sugar in there. Then we're going to fold everything together and put it in the ramekin.
that to just remember that you're keeping it warm and then you just turn it off was the thing to do. So I turned it off. It was on low for about a minute or two with it on there, uh, the chocolate stuff on the stove. Then I just turned it off so there'll still be plenty of heat in that water and all. Add in two tablespoons of sugar. Just add a little bit first. And then add in some more on the rest of it. That's exactly what we want. All right. A little warm, but not bad. All right. So we're going to start by taking some of the eggs into this and getting that. And they've said you can kind of fold this a bunch and it's not as big a deal. Then we're going to transfer it back into there and do the gentle folds. So kind of getting that first bit incorporated, you're kind of doing a little more folding than you might normally, not as big a deal. Just making sure it's not all overcooking. I think I'm supposed to go the other way. So whatever. All right, so I'll just fold it all in. is very hot by the way oh my gosh all right so now we're gently folding together you guys see yep
red with about a little dead. And still a little streaky, I know, but everything I've read said that's a okay. So hang on. Alright, so got our ramekins just to fill to the top. Oh, maybe it's just enough for two. Ah. Or three. Maybe it's just three. That's okay. I'll just wash out the other one. Maybe my ramekins are bigger than they were supposed to be. Completely possible. Getting it all out. All of that out there. <laughs> My light is smaller. And that's also okay. What they said to do was to like take a knife across to like flatten. Get in there, get in that one at least. Your edges. Kind of just you know, that with that one. All right. Then if you want, you can kind of go around with your thumb some to clean up. I'm going to put them in. I'm going to clean up a little. Hang on. All right. The finger thing didn't really seem to do much. I don't know. Maybe mine are not correct. <laughs> Quite possible. They can say something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. We're going to gingerly place these on the cookie sheet. Gingerly put it in there. Alright, so like I said, it's at 375. I'm gonna cook it for 15 minutes. Y'all. Oh, it fogged you up a little. It's okay. Look at that! They rose up! Oh, that's so cool. I think I can. Yeah, this is better than trying to take them all out individually. All right. The only thing left to do that is good is you can top them with a little bit of powdered sugar. See, I'm just going to see and if they're on the pan, then that's just extra cleanup. But that's so awesome. They rose up. Oh, that's amazing. All right, guys. Happy New Year's and bon appetit.